I was asked, would you come down and photograph the punk night? Suddenly, the clash come on and bang! There was this incredible cultural explosion going on. It was a scary moment because punk could have gone either way. Some of the bands did have NF following. The National Front were growing incredibly. Keep our country free from invasion! They're not English! They don't belong here! We said what we need to do is do a, a gig, then call Rock Against Racism. We're against racism in all facets of British life. We want rebel music, street music, music that breaks down people's fear of one another, music that knows who the real enemy is. Love music, hate racism. The energy and the potential of it was what pulled all these people on board. People in the room were artists and writers and political activists. It was immediate. I thought, this is a gang I'd like to join. At that time, there was a massive amount of police picking up black youth. I met this man, Red Saunders. He was like, we've got to get together, we've got to build something. Rock Against Racism was white people finally waking up to the fact that there's racism here. The thing to do is get involved in outside organisations with white people, with black people. The only way we can do it is together. We were interested in the idea of people being able to express themselves and that the expression itself was a political act. Black, white, together, tonight and forever. We're going to march from Trafalgar Square to Vicky Park, get a stage, build it. Got to have the clash, absolutely great energy punk band. The police were ridiculing us, saying nobody's going to come to this march. The numbers just kept coming. In this society, we're made to feel powerless and useless and that the great and the good should do our thinking for us. And one of the wonderful things that we did in Rome was to say, no, just ordinary people, we can do things, we can change the world. <laughs>